Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to connect up to potentially eight different input devices onto your PCSX2 emulator. You could be doing this on Windows, you could be doing this on Linux, you could be doing this if you have this using some sort of you know, wine based system on Mac, the process is exactly the same. So first of all, I want to, you know, say what this video isn't. This isn't to show you how to connect different controllers up because different controllers may need different, you know, drivers depending on the OS. They have different configuration methods. I've got videos covering a lot of the major controllers on different platforms with different emulators. So feel free to check them out and I'll put a link in the description to the PCSX2 playlist. So you can have a look at that. This is just assuming that you you know you know how to successfully connect up an input device. It could be a game controller, it could be a keyboard, it could be an extra keyboard, it could be some random joystick, whatever it is, and you know how to map it. But you want to do more than two players. And because to do two players pretty easily, easy. You go to controllers, plugin settings. And we have pad one and pad two. I've got pad one configured for my Xbox One controller, which I've got synced up right now. And pad two is nothing really synced, but that, that doesn't matter. So we can do pad one or pad two. The reason for that is if we go to Google, and if I show you a picture of the PS2, if you look, let me get that one there. As you can see, there are two ports here. Uh, can I see a better image? Yeah, that's probably good enough. You can see uh, that's even worse actually. Yeah, there we go. There's two ports here, and you would use them for connecting up the controller. So that's what it is by default. But in the original PlayStation 2, so the you know the actual I don't mean the fat one necessarily, I just mean the you know the physical one. Well, you can get something called a multi-tap. And this allowed you to plug this device into one of the controller slots and it had a total of four controller ports with memory card slots as well. So that's basically what we need to emulate. So one multi-tap into one of the ports would allow you to have four more or four players plus pad two, which would be five technically. And if you have two multi-taps, you would have four plus four, which is eight players in total. So to do that, it's pretty simple. You go to config, press multi tap one or two. Multi tap one is would be you know player you know port one multi tap. So I'm just going to show you with this, but it's the same principle if you want up to eight players. So press multi tap one. That is highlighted now or checked. Go to controllers, plugin settings. Now from here you want to put in port one multi tap. As you can see, it has put in a bunch of other devices, and only this one has some binding. So this pad two. And uh, so we've got pad 1A, which is my first one, and B, C, and D. So this is emulating if we have multi-tap in there. And it'll be the same if you do, you know, the same steps for multi-tap 2. You'll have pad 2, A, B, C, and D. So I'm going to map just one key for B, C, and D. And that's the X key. And the reason I'm doing this is because the game that I'm going to be testing, Crash Nitro Card, which is a racing game, I use pad A to basically get into it. And when I'm selecting character or moving or you know accelerating, I'll just need the X key, you know, just for testing purposes. That's all. But obviously, you will most likely want to map all the other keys for all the other different pads up to eight, you know, simulated pads. And they could be a mixture. It could be keyboard with some game controllers. It could be a couple of Xbox One controllers, an Xbox 360 controller, a couple of PS4, maybe PS3 controller. You can go crazy. So now, obviously, make sure you click apply before you continue. And I'm going to do a fast boot. Not that, because I have not selected the game that I want. Crash Nitro Kart. Reset. Okay. Waiting for this to load up. Nothing so far. Let me 
boot it up again. Okay, there we go. I don't know why it didn't, you know, boot up the first time, maybe because I already had a game loaded up that Tekken, it was Tekken. And so I can select, so A for this. Just turning the volume down. Can I skip this? There we go. Okay. We can say data, <laughs> not that it really matters to be fair. I just want to get into the game and show you, you know, the four players working. So if we go to multiplayer, uh, race mode will be fine, single race, and nah, we don't want any team play. Relapse, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so ah, another little bit of oversight. I need to press start on it. Ignore this little bit here, it's just you know, some dodgy stuff that's happening with my thing but I need to press start and then I need to press X so I need to map start for the other ones as well so let me go to controllers plugin settings pass so I'll do a start as well I'll do like S for this just literally you know the one key above all the others again you won't have this issue because you will have applied every single key from the start and you'll have it properly configured so, okay, so if I press S, and if I press X, um, nope. Uh, I know what I did wrong. I know what I did wrong. That's kind of stupid to be saying, like the game itself, uh, it doesn't let you confirm that you're done. So you have to press start on all the controllers first before you actually press X on all of them. Okay. So let me get back into it. Do, do, do. Okay, so back to it. Multiplayer, race mode, single race. And what we're doing, we're doing setup, free laps. Okay, so start on my controller. Obviously, I can move left and right with this one. You know, S, D, and F. So we have four different controllers. I'm going to press, you know, the A button on my Xbox controller, which is mapped to the X PlayStation 2 button. Now press X on my keyboard. And if I was to press V, the number four, the fourth one will get triggered. And then C will get the third one triggered. So we're all starting now. And if we get into the game, I'll just accelerate on all the different, you know, div, you know, simulated pads just to show you it working. Just to show, you know, four different players obviously this game only supports up to four players you can get games that support up to eight players i think there's some sport game like fifa on that okay and uh, we are moving so this, so this is with just my physical game controller if i press x it will move this one right here if i press v it'll move this one and if i press c which is my third pad it will move this one Let's see if i can get further than anyone else yeah, I'm gonna hit the box. I'm gonna hit the box, and I hit the box. Yeah, and let's make this a little smaller. Okay, so that is how you connect up to, you know, eight controllers. Technically, if you enable both the multi taps, obviously depending on the game, you may or may not be able to have that many players. Again, that is game dependent. But yeah, that is how you connect more than two, you know, simulated pads up to it. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.